This program is called Tag Offenses. It sits on the system tray, and here's some of your options. Now let me show you your desktop. Okay, here's here's your normal icons. All all the icons you have usually are just on uh, Windows 7 and below. It's it's on your desktop just like this. Of course, I don't have as many. I've put it in my desktop folder. But uh, let's say yours are here. What you do is when you hold down your left click, drag a fence to about the size you want it, and then down below here it says Add Fence. So you hit Add Fence then now you can start putting your icons in there. So what this does is it basically make a shortcut of a short. These are already shortcuts on your desktop on the long side here and you just drag it over and it makes a shortcut of the shortcut. So if this icon on the side here was deleted or moved into the folder or something like that then these icons would be invalid and it wouldn't work. Another feature I like is there's two hotkeys. Control Alt F, that gets rid of the fences. Control Alt S gets rid of the desktop. So let's bring Control Alt S. So those are back, and then Control Alt F. So you can hide whichever uh, one you want, the fences or the icons. A simple way to do this is just to double click inside the desktop, and that automatically make, hides the desktop. Another neat thing, and I'll get into the settings here, there's a little thumbtack that has a purpose. Let me show you this. Change the thumbtack that way, and your fence will fade away. Let me do it with that one, too. So if you're off it for a little bit, it will hide. You go over it with your mouse, it comes back. Okay, you have some options here. Show hide, change colors, rename the fence title, delete the fence. So let me show you the sort options. Inherit name, type, manual, and usage. Everything is pretty much to a grid except the manual. That is free floating. There's no snap to grid. So that's it for that. Pin this. Let me bring back the desktop icons if I wanted to add some more. Let me go into the virtual desktop here. You have five options, five desktops, and these little buttons down here, right at the bottom, each dot is a virtual desktop. So if I wanted to make a page, okay, I've made this page. Let's say I want to start fresh, so I click this button here, and I've got a whole new canvas to work with. So if I want to go back, I just hit this button, and I'm back to what I've made. Let's go to the settings. Of course, it sits on the system tray. Fences settings is bold there. Let me give you a chance to read some of this. Uh, here's some of the general settings. This is how I have them. I guess you just choose what you want. Uh, let me show you the next the preferences. That's where uh, you can, you know, no fade, fade the fence, sort items, and that and that just tells it what you every new fence. You, that's your general properties for now. The auto collapse, let me show you that real quick. If I were to enable this, I have to hit OK, and the the window, or the new fence, has to be in this configuration where the thumbtack is straight across. But once you move away from the fence and click on something else, it will actually roll up, and I'll zoom it up in on this. So, kind of a handy little feature. I personally like it to not roll up. So I'm going to go back in the settings and preferences there. Okay. Um, the fade, uh, you'll have to play with that. Here's the colors. You just get to uh, pick the colors, whatever you want. Uh, Hotkeys, that's the control, alt control F and alt control S. That's to show and hide fences or the desktop icons is the S. The fences is the, is the F. Uh, so you, you could basically make everything disappear. So let me do the, let me make those so where you can see it. I'm just going to Control alt f Control alt s so everything's disappeared. I can still double click on the i the desktop and have the icons come back. So that's a pretty handy. So let me bring the fences back and then Control alt s for the desktop. Let's get back to the rest of the settings. 
Oh, yeah, and you can, in the system tray here, you can hide fences as well. Okay. Um, let's get to the rest of the, I think we did the colors, the hotkey, and then the last thing is about. And there is a feedback on the system tray. So you can give them feedback if you so desire. So that's it for now. They update this program every once in a while, every couple days it seems, every five days or so. They might slow down, slow that down or not. Uh, I don't know what the future brings. But uh, in the case that you find they have an update, and you like to update this a lot, there's a couple things you'll have to know. But before I do that, uh, let me do that first. Um, go to the web page, and it is www.tago-solutions.com. And there you will be able to download their new version right up top there. Uh, Tago Fences, you just right click and save as, and that should download it. It's just one exe file then you're set to go. You just put that in uh, your program files. You would just put it in uh, just under program files, under fences or something, and just run it. And there is another thing you need to know about this, is if you've had an older version before, you need to go in, let me show you first, you go into users, and then your username, go down to where it says Tago fences and then there's a folder called dot data and basically what you're going to see in there the fences data xml is the all your settings all the new fences you've made the fences dot dll is important uh, all the new features are in that and if you use the old dll the new features might not show up so what i do is go into the fences dll and as you can see i've added the date to the old DLLs. You just either do that or delete it and then put your new fences exe where it's supposed to go and run it and it will make a new fences XM or DLL and uh, all your new capabilities will be ready to go. That puzzled me with every new advance, every new exe, nothing would change. Well I would still use the old DLL file and it wouldn't help, it wouldn't show the new uh, advancements. So just a word of the wise there until they fix or enhance their program to automatically update or whatever you'll have to do that manually okay I went through the dots let me see oh it uh, will I think I already talked about this it'll automatically add the, your first time run through it'll automatically try to or ask you if you want to automatically set every fence and it just does it automatically I think that's as far as I've gotten as far as playing with it if you stop running it, it will just show your desktop like normal. That's one thing about Stardock fences. It rearranged your icons and it was they were they're permanently moved. This one does not do that. So I for most of the part I like Tago fences, but for programming and such I use Stardock fences to show all my icons all at once. And uh I just have a full screen, but uh, on my entertainment PCs, uh, I use Tag Offenses. I, I really prefer this program. I think that's pretty much everything. I can't think of anything else. It's really easy to make these fences. I'm not sure if the different colors are different or if, if they're universal, if all the fences or colors are changed. I actually haven't tried that, so I don't know if that works or not. Anyway. Keep uh, keep on my channel, Gamma Phase, and I, I might make another video, a more up-to-date one, the more they advance this one, because I really like this one. Hope that uh, helps you out. Hope you like the program, and hope you use it. They're doing really good with this program. So I'll leave it there, and...